Okay, ask your question, please. Uh, I've been told a lot about how we should keep one hand on the bow staff and specifically one way. Is there a reason we don't bring it above the other hand or push it around? Okay, uh, so to clarify, I hate to be that guy, but in Wushu, it's not called a bow staff. It's called Gun, okay? That's the Chinese word for staff, okay? Bow staff is for Japanese arts, okay? So, sorry, I hate to be that guy, but in Gun, right? The rule is the right hand does not change grip. The left hand can, okay? You see that with your figure eight, right? This switches, this switches, this switches, this switches, right? But notice the right hand never changes grip. It's always some towards the paper end, the head or the tip of the staff, okay? That's the rule. That doesn't mean that you can't go up. It just means that you cannot switch the grip. You understand? Now, why? Because this is your lever for virtually all the staff techniques, okay? So, Tim, can you come here, please? In the example that you are asking about, right, specifically for Feng Kun at the end of section three, right? Here, right? When I collapse with the wrist, right? This is my lever. It's simply easier to impose force here. That's what lever means, okay? So, can you just hold your staff out like this, please? I'm not gonna hit you, okay? Just as far as possible, right? If I collapse down and go up, right? I need to be able to impose as much force and as easily as necessary, okay? So this is just a very natural motion. That's why this is good leverage, okay? So here, all right? But if I go like this, right? How, how am I supposed to? Right? It, no matter how much, how much I try, me twisting my hand like this, leverage is just not good, right? But if I go up like this, it's just easier. The grip is upright, I'm able to impose force a lot better. You see the difference in how the staff moves? Yeah. Okay? Any other questions? Okay, thank you.